Welcome back. We are here for video three of beginner's yoga. Starting in cat cow. It's a breathing exercise as well. We always want to start with our breathing exercise, again linking um, the breath to our movements this way. Curl your toes, stand on your knees, bring your hands to the floor. Ground down through all corners of your hands. And inhale and look up. On your exhale, empty your lungs completely. Hollow the belly. Suck the stomach in as much as you can. Inhale, arch your back and look up. Exhale. Repeat a few more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Look up, arch your back, exhale. So we're warming up the spine at the same time as we're warming up the body with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Looking forward, coming to a neutral spine. Toes are still curled. We're going to activate our core here in a very gentle way. Just lift your knees and hover over the ground. Try to align your shoulders and your wrists and hold here. You'll feel the core muscles start to fire right away. Hold and lower. Do that a couple more times. This prepares you for balancing postures, um, strengthening core postures. Again, lift your knees. Hover, breathe. Try not to arch your back this time. A little bit, the tailbone is under and lower down. Last time, inhale and lift. Push down still through all aspects of your hands. Shoulders are back, we're not dropping into our shoulders. Use the core, staying up. And then exhale to come back down. Now our hands are already set up for our downward dog, so all we're gonna do, and our toes too, our toes are already curled, we're just gonna push back. If you need to adjust a little bit, that's cool. You might need to stay on your toes. You might not be able to get your heels right down, that's fine. Eventually the heels come into the floor again, try not to round, try not to arch your spine, try to find a neutral spine. Drop your head, shoulders are back and down, not hugging around your ears. Three deep breaths here. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up off the floor and just gently open your hip. So open towards the side. Right heel starts to drop towards your left um, glute or your right glute. Come back to the center, lower your foot down. Inhale, lift your left leg up and again, open to the side. Left heel to left glute, back to the center, and then lower back down. Let's try that again. Inhale, leg up, and open the hip. Great way to open the hips. Keeping the shoulders square is the key and the tricky part here. Come back to the center, lower your right leg. Left leg comes up, open the hip. Keeping the shoulders fairly square. And then left leg comes down as you move back through the center. So gently walk your right foot forward, then your left, look up. And on your inhale, slowly come back up to standing. Exhale, drop your hands down. Turning to face the front of your mat, step your left leg out. We're going to do triangle pose. Turn your left foot towards the edge of your mat. The right foot is parallel, so right foot facing forward. With your arms out to the side, take a deep breath in and just bend your left knee. Now what you can do here, if you need to, is just rest your left hand on your left knee. Bring your right arm up. Another option here might be to bring your hand to the floor. 
but feel that out for yourself. That's going to be deeper through the hips, so you may need to stay here. This is a very strengthening posture for the legs, even more so than putting the hand down. So just holding here, and then coming back through the center. Right foot turns out, triangle pose, other side. Again, bending the knee so you're in a deep lunge, resting right elbow on right knee, looking up at the left hand. Come back through to the center, turn your right foot in. This time, facing again the opposite side, the right foot turns 45 degrees. Inhale, bring your arms up. On the exhale, come all the way down. You might need to bend this knee, that's fine. Drop your head down. Eventually working to straighten the leg and level the hip, so we're bringing the weight forward into the left foot to do that. Lengthen the spine, bringing your head towards your ankle. Inhale, use the strength of the legs to hold everything together as you come up, turn to the other side. Exhale, come all the way down, bend the front knee if you need to. Bring your head down. If you can, straighten the leg more, shift more weight to the right foot to lift the right hip. Inhale, bring your arms back up and through the center. Turn, bring your feet together. Going to move on to our knees again as we begin. So on your knees, this time allow your feet to be flat on the floor. This is called camel pose. Hands come to the hips, fingers facing down. Draw your elbows back together, drop your shoulders. We're going to push the hips forward, look up at the ceiling, now you can keep your head there, or you might feel comfortable dropping your head back. Feel that out for yourself. Looking up, looking back, push your hips forward and just start to lean back. Going back, bending back. Now the thing you want to be careful of here, there's two things that you're likely to do. Lean through the legs, like this. You want to keep your hips forward, so that's the first thing. By keeping the hips forward, you're going to open your lower back. The other thing that often happens for people is they go into it and their chest collapses. So we hold a lot of stuff there. It's kind of scary and kind of foreign for us to open the whole front side of the body. We often protect ourselves rounding forward. So as you're keeping your hips forward, you also want to keep the lift through the chest so that you're, you're opening your lower back but also the upper back. This way the total spine bending equally the same. So hips are forward. Let's try again. Inhale. Dropping your head back or looking at the ceiling. Keep your hips forward but lift the chest as well. Going back to wherever you can. Three deep breaths. Inhale, slowly come up. You may want to sit down on your heels for a second. It's normal to feel a little dizzy. It's not very often we're going upside down like that. We're going to repeat that three more times just because it could change your life. It's so powerful. Come back up to the knees. And I say that and it sounds funny, but I really mean it. Hands on the hips, elbows back. Inhale, look up, drop your head back. So hips are forward, but chest is lifted, opening the heart. You might only be here. That's fine. Inhale, back to center, slowly sit down, take a moment. If you feel dizzy, maybe perhaps skip the third one, otherwise come back to the knees. Staying with the breath is key here. If you're feeling dizzy, you're probably not breathing too. Hands on the hips, elbows back, hips forward. Inhale, look back and start to bend the spine back. Inhale, coming back up. And good idea to bring your head up last if you know, you know your spine isn't super strong yet. Just as a precaution, bring your head up last. Slowly sit down, take a deep breath. And then extend your legs. And once again, moving onto your back and taking a minute just to take all of that in. Feel the energy, feel what's moving. 
Often we're moving stagnant emotions or stagnant repressed energy, uh, repressed emotions. So letting that stuff just perhaps shift out of you.